So as you guys know, on the latest banner, the GOAT God Goku has returned. Is he worth your coins? Let's talk about that. Well, I'm gonna discuss the entire banner and whether or not these units are worth your coins. Let's start with Videl. Absolutely not. When she easy A's, eventually, she could be decent. But as of right now, she is definitely not worth your red coins. In the future, when she does easy A, she might not even be good. You can't even consider her if you're going for the best options. Next is Kale and Khalifla, and it's pretty much the same thing. Like Kale and Khalifla are better than Videl, but certainly not worth coins. Kid Goku is the same. Like Kid Goku is better than Kale and Khalifla. Kale and Khalifla are better than Videl, but none of them are worth coins. If you want to buy Kid Goku, that's actually not the worst deal ever. It's actually a decent investment. I wouldn't recommend it. If anything, I would heavily advise against it. But he is worth coins, let's be fair. I wouldn't recommend it, let's just say that. Kale? Absolutely not. Kale is 100% not worth your coins. I would argue Kid Goku is worth the coins over Kale as things stand right now, considering that Kale has a total of zero help. Zero help, absolutely. She's not worth coins. The banner unit, even if this banner unit was available for 50 red coins, I still would not recommend getting this unit, because that unit is hot garbage. The androids are actually a pretty good unit. If they were available with coins, I wouldn't recommend getting them. Me personally, I am not going to summon on this banner when it comes to global, and I recommend that everyone on JP skips this banner as well. Even if the unit was available with coins right now, I would not recommend getting them. If they were available with like 200 coins, then sure, that's a good investment. But definitely not 400 coins. I don't think it's worth it in my opinion, although the unit is good. In the future, this unit might get better setups, might get more help with more Gokus, with more UI Gokus and things like that. But as things stand right now, I don't think this unit is worth coins. Next is the GOAT God Goku. In my opinion, he is the only unit on the banner that is worth coins. Would I recommend it? Honestly, it's not a bad investment. This one is the one where I'm like, if you get him, fair enough. If you don't get him, fair enough. I don't think he's a must have, but he's definitely worth coins. If you want him, then he's definitely worth it. Because if you go through the entire unit, he's got one of the best leader skills in the entire game. He stacks attack and defense. He's got a guard if you get the orbs. He creates orbs. He can dodge with a 60% chance. He's got a guaranteed additional super if you can get the orbs. This guy is good, and in my experience, I do quite consistently get the orbs that I need for this guy. And he's got a very, very good link set. And he's on a lot of teams. And he's got good stats. Like overall, this unit is just very, very good. A phenomenal unit. Good animations. The active skill is... I wouldn't recommend using it most of the time. Maybe there's a situation where you can finish off the enemy with the active skill. In which case, go for it. But for the most part... I wouldn't consider his active skill when talking about how good this unit is, and not even in the slightest. But the unit is definitely very good. In my opinion, he is the best super class TUR in the game. Better than the androids, in my opinion, as a bare minimum. I think the only TUR better than God Goku is Piccolo Jr., but that's just my opinion. Overall, the only unit on this banner that is worth coins, in my opinion, is God Goku, as including the androids, even if they were available. To be bought with coins. With that said, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys agree with me that God Goku is the only unit on this banner that is worth red coins, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.